Good morning guys, I hope you all have been having an awesome day. I'm still here in Bathurst at the moment. I've just finished packing up all my bags and uh, today we are heading to Sydney. Tonight we have a meet on there in Ashfield I believe at around 6pm and uh, yeah we're going to be heading there meeting up with some of you guys as well but before that we don't have to leave here or leave Bathurst anytime soon. It's a two and a half hour to three hour drive to Sydney so I have to just leave by three. We're going to go to the Mount Panorama Museum um, which I haven't been to just yet and then I'm going to do, do maybe three laps of the track and uh, I say that now, but I'm probably going to do a hell of a lot more. It looks like the sky is pretty much cleared. You can kind of see the mountain now. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go up there, get some photos, and uh, see how we go. But yeah, first, I need to check out because I'm like... Oh, um, yeah, I'm late. I'm going to go do that now. <laughs> okay, so we have now checked out, and I'm about to leave Bathurst. But we have to go to that museum and also go get some breakfast. we got to do it while we're here. One more lap of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> I honestly don't think I could ever get enough of this place. Oh man, I'm so keen to come back down this year for the Bathurst 1000. <laughs> I can guarantee that people here are probably getting so sick of me doing this now. <laughs> I know this sounds so weird, um, but I wonder how often they repave the course. Like, because this still looks and feels fairly new, and it's actually really nice. But it's still got the markings from the last V8 supercar. So I'm wondering if they, like, repave it every, like, three years or something. I don't know. It's really nice, though. And, of course, the day I'm about to leave, there is not a breath of wind. <laughs> God damn it. No wind at all. And once again, this place remains the quietest place I have ever been on this trip. So beautiful. I am so coming here for the 1000. So coming here. That's so cool. Alrighty guys, I'm here at the National Motor Racing Museum and uh, I'm just going to go inside. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film, but uh, we'll see how we go. I don't really like filming in public, but we'll see how we go. I don't know. Alrighty, so I have just walked in. I tried to find a little quiet spot where I can film, but these cars are insane. We've got pretty much all the Bathurst legends here, just some amazing cars. Let's go have a look. Alright, so I guess we'll start off with Toyota. Um, have a huge range of like the uh, Celicas and the old Supras as well. Um, this one here, oh yeah, Cel uh, Celica GT Group C. I love the fact that the Group C had full interior pretty much. Like they have all of these back seats that's still in there. Um, pretty much just bucket seat for driver seat. And uh, <laughs> that's so wicked. <laughs> I would love to rip one of these things around the track. The 2013 AMG GT3. <laughs> wow. Wait, is that, ex that is an exhaust right there, behind that. That's amazing. Wow. I would feel so claustrophobic in that. <laughs> and there's one good looking car. That's wicked. Another GT3 car over here. This one, the R8. I love the, uh, I love the massive over fenders that they put on these cars. Now this old BMW looks absolutely sick. Check out the wide body on it. I wonder what it is. It's a uh, 1977 BMW 2002 Group 5. I have honestly never heard of this thing. I'm gonna grab that and watch some videos on it. <laughs> what a cool car. My brother would love this too. Beautiful little old Subaru Impreza. That'd still be fun, but you could never convince me to ride a motorbike on a racetrack. Screw that. Check out this old XF. <laughs> what? Massive big mud tires. <laughs> there you go, so this XFU was built for the Baja 1000, which is regarded as the toughest off-road race in the world. An XFU! How cool is that? Beautiful little uh, 1969 Mini. Oh no. Poor Chazzy. I'm guessing this is Chaz Mostert's uh, FGX. Yep. There you go. It is toast. So this one here is the one that he uh, broke his leg on too. This car was completely written off. Oh no, this is gonna, it's gonna hurt me. How do people write this sort of stuff? 
Oh my god, I guess I have to get a bike so I can figure it all out. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but if people like this, then yeah, feast your eyes. I'm hoping out the back here I might be a little bit quieter. Hopefully. There you go. I got the whole place myself. Oh yeah. Let's go around and let's, I want to try and find the, all right. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Let's just start here. Beautiful Castrol VR Commodore. I love this because I used to race all these cars in games. Like, I don't know, like V8 Supercars 1 or something like that. I think I used to race this. <laughs> this is so wicked. Beautiful EL V8 Supercar here as well. Oh no, please don't tell me this was the actual one. Oh. <laughs> I have models and photos and everything of this car growing up. Marcus Ambrose's Pertec AU Falcon. Got an another AU right here. This one here, I don't remember so much, but this was uh, Craig Lowndes' AU Falcon as well. I actually believe this was his first year as a Falcon Vigor Supercar driver, but I'm not quite sure. I'll have to double check, but yeah, that's cool. Now, there's a couple of cars up here that caught my eye, and no other one better than the number one XC Falcon hardtop. I, I can't even begin to explain just how incredible this car is and just how iconic this car is to the great race. It's a wicked old BMW here too. A Group A M3. I love this. These are going up in value so much. A Ford Sierra Cosworth. Complete. I believe this was a Group A era. Group A car. But I love the wing on these things. Completely got that interior bucket seat and just, it's so simple. It is absolutely simple. Wow. And a whole heap of VK cars, including Peter Brock's. Marlboro 05 Commodore. <laughs> I dare say this would be definitely one of the most iconic cars in this entire collection here. Peter Brock's completely original Marlboro Commodore. I reckon this thing's wicked. I really want to start this up and just drive it. <laughs> it's definitely not going to happen though. I didn't know they used to race these things. <laughs> I kind of want one now so I can do that body kit. Looks so wicked. I love looking at all these too, like all these old sprint cars. Look at that, what, what is that? What does that do with the aero? <laughs> wow, that's very cool. This is very cool footage. But, you would never find me a live one. How cool is this picture? So this was uh, Eric Hinton on his 500 Norton, but check out like, just how amazing that just barbed wire fence is to the track. <laughs> oh man. This was the first corner before going up onto the hill. Start finish line. Wow. It's front straight. I'm missing all these and all these old um all these old videos on YouTube. God damn. Rodney came knocking. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> you guys have no idea how much I want that print right there. <laughs> so detailed, so wicked. And another extremely, extremely insane car is Brocky's Tirana. The 05 Marlboro Tirana that Brock drove and won. God damn. Alrighty, so I have seen some absolutely incredible cars here. But I think it's time for me to head off one more lap, head to Sydney. And uh, yeah, I love this place. I'm so coming back here. By the way, we didn't even get to see this. I believe this was Mark Scaife? Scaifey, is it Scaifey, is it Scaifey? Sorry, yes, Scaife and Lounce. This was their car. <laughs> I love, okay, in all fairness, this was, I think, the best era of the VR supercars when they had these amazing, like, five-spoke wheels. They were just so sick. 100% one of the best-looking VR supercars ever. 
So this right here is pretty cool. This is the Peter Brock Memorial statue of his uh, VK Commodore. Holding the Bathurst trophy. Oh man, that is cool. Wow, this thing is beautiful. We're just gonna do a lap of the track in an old Bathurst winning car. <laughs> Radio, back into my noble steed to do one more lap and then we're heading off to Sydney. I thought this would be an acceptable playlist for the last two laps. <laughs> one day I will race here. A hundred percent. It's gonna happen one day. I can feel it. It's gonna be so cool. Down into the S's. Oh man. Coming down into Conrod for the very last time. Man, I am so gonna miss this place, but I am so coming back. So coming back. Alrighty. That was my last one. My last one. I'm gonna head to Sydney now. I'm starting to get emotional. I can't wait to be back here. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> So I'm just working out exactly where to go at the moment and listen to this. Head southeast on Conrod Strait. <laughs> Head southeast on Conrod Strait without a doubt, Siri. Don't you stress. <laughs> Ooh, 